I'm telling you, these infirmary hours have been like a soothing, tingly balm on the psyche. You've said as much. No, I didn't. But one steps into a medical setting, and it all floods back like a Proustian memory. The alcohol, the iodine. Stabbing in the yard. Weak and highly agitated. We need to stabilize. Blood. Mr. David, a little help here. Looks like he may have nicked his brachial artery. I can help. Shut up. You know, if you can't stop the bleeding, you'll lose the arm. Don't you think I know that? Damn it! Let me help. Hold him still. Get Whitley out of here now. Sure, you all right? I'm fine. Nice work with the pants. Thank you. What is it? The, um, the patient from earlier, he had a bleed in his oblivion. He, he died. Ten minutes after he got to the trauma center. Damn. I'm sorry. You're sorry. The surgeon? A surgeon. I once was a doctor like you. Yeah. With a complete lack of regard for human life. Not complete. I've gotten that call. It hurts. You don't believe me? You killed 23 people. Never on my operating table. Church and the state, Dr. Capshaw. I never mix business and pleasure. How can you separate the two? Perhaps that was my particular brand of madness. I'm here after all. As are you. It's a job. You're better than this place. Tell me, how, how did you end up here? They told me you'd do this. Do what? Lure me in, manipulate me. It's not happening, Whitley. I'm in charge. Do we understand each other? Yes. I believe we do. Good. The blood drain's clogged. Wipe up the floor and you can go. It would be my pleasure. 